hello everyone welcome back to the channel i'm Ulua bukola and this is the video you need to watch if you want to go into zobo drinks production for commercial purposes or you just want to make zobo at home trust me after watching this video from start to finish you will never need a class on how to make zobo drinks the leaves you're looking at is called zobo leaf popularly known as zobo leaf in nigeria you can get from mostly northern vendors because this drink i think originates from the northern part of nigeria i believe but you know they can come back with a tail like they did with jollof that nigerians don't own jollof so zobo drink is popular in the northern part and i believe originates from there this is red abiscus flower so for this tutorial i'm going to be using a few fresh fruits that is watermelon ginger root we're going to be using ginger root which is important for zobo pineapple which we're going to be using both the skin and the juice inside so for zobo making the nothing is a waste when you when it comes to the pineapple and as you can see in this video i bought the ripest pineapple you would think is going bad in the market that is what i need then dates when you're getting your dates, ensure you get from a vendor that sells in bags so you don't buy dried dates. You can see these ones are plump. They look big. It looks LD. This is the type of dates you want to use. If you'll be using dates as a sweetener, sit back, relax. This is not a tutorial where you just you want to hurriedly watch. No, I'm going to be taking you all through all the different sweeteners available if you have not subscribed to the channel please kindly do that and share the link of this video with your friends who should also come and watch this video then your cloves cloves very important in zobo making except you don't like for some reasons you don't like the taste but for me i just feel the cloves brings the taste all together garlic i personally add garlic to my zobo drink but it is optional if you don't like garlic fantastic but with this recipe i'm going to be giving you all the measurements of this zobo drink so like i said this is one video you want to watch sit back you're not don't be in a rush if you know you are in the middle of something i advise you go and come back later because i'm going to be giving you everything the recipe and the garlic is not too much it's just perfect for some persons who will say cucumber but i decided to use red apples and i think this is the first i've never heard of this i chose to use it because i believe red apples is quite sweet and the color is also red so it's going to be intense then if you're talking about artificial sweeteners these are some of the artificial sweeteners you will get in the market in the nigerian market and i want to believe in other markets this is orange flavor that is coca-cola flavor and the last is pineapple you can also get Fanta and other flavors in the market. So these are artificial sweeteners. If you want to go into street Zobo making and you want it to be very, very cheap and affordable, this is what you will use for affordable Zobo drinks. Then this is your regular table sugar, white granulated sugar, which can also serve as a sweetener for your Zobo drink depending on the taste it is you want to achieve let's get right into it the very first thing you want to do is you want to wash all your fruits and nuts for the pineapple i always wash and the ginger both even the watermelon i always wash with a sponge because i'm going to be using the peel of the pineapple i want to get rid of every dirt on the pineapple every single dirt the soil the sand everything I want to get rid of the of it on the pineapple on the on the watermelon on the ginger and all the fruit it is i will be using to make my zobo drink so please guys this is one stage you don't want to skip if you don't have ta running tap water in, the, in your house just immerse in a bowl and wash thoroughly the next thing is i'm going to be peeling my pineapple for this one there is nothing there are no do's and don'ts in peeling the pineapple because we are going to be literally using everything on it so with the spikes and all in goes into our zobo drink 
so right here i'm peeling the pineapple and um, like i have said wash all your fruits thoroughly all your fruits please wash thoroughly including the dates so for this zobo tutorial there are two things if you want to make zobo using natural sweeteners that's fruits and a handful of dates will not work so please follow this recipe if you follow this recipe like i'm giving you everything in this recipe inclusive of water if you follow this recipe trust me without sugar without sweetness you will get sweet zobo but the taste you will get using fruit as your sweetener is quite different from the taste you will get using the sachet flavored sweeteners and table sugar so two things if you are used to the taste of the zobo drink you buy on the streets or you buy from your vendor that has the sweetener if you make your zobo using watermelon pineapple red apples and uh, dates fine it will be sweet but you won't get that taste you're used to you will not get that taste you're used to that is one thing i've realized secondly if you're going into commercial production of zobo and you want it to be affordable like for everyone you want everybody to be your customer you will not be able to use dates pineapple watermelon red apples as your sweetener reason being these are fruits and they are quite expensive these are fruits and they are quite expensive and you will see can you see the pineapple what you, the, the, you will say is going bad but that is the pineapple i use when i'm making anything that has to do with extracting pineapple juice even when i want to make my regular pineapple juice i make and store in the house i use pineapples that is extremely ripe I want it to be like ripe, like at almost at the stage of going bad. That is the type of apple it is, pineapple it is. I always go for whenever I need to extract pineapple juice. And now I'm pouring this into my blender. If you don't, if you have a food processor, fantastic. In fact, that is going to make your uh, is is going to work. But if you have a juicer, I think that was what I was about to say. If you have a juicer, a food processor will also work, but not as perfect as a blender. A blender is better than a food processor. But if you have a juicer, especially an automatic juicer, that's which will juice for you and strain immediately. Wow, the job is halfway done for you. But in this video, I'm using a blender because I want you to even see how powerful this blender is. Check my page on Instagram at TV and at ninja.bakers for you to see the vendor that sells this particular blender can you see how smooth that is so now i've gotten my pineapple juice which i'm still going to strain very much later then i set that aside the same process now goes to the apples thoroughly washed i've gotten rid of the dirt on the skin and everything now i want to get rid of the seed inside the apple what we need is just the apple and nothing more so if you feel there's extra to the sides you can go right at it so like i was saying about commercial production of zobo if you want to use all those fruits as your sweeteners that means there's a targeted market for you which is the premium market the market that understands that you've not added any artificial sweetener and you've used fruit as your sweetener one last sweetener that is not in this video that I recently got to know about about a week thereabout is called Jaggery. I went on Google to reach, read more on it and I researched and realized that it's also a byproduct of sugarcane. So they get it from sugarcane, boil it and form it into shapes, mostly cubes or round shapes. That is what Jaggery is. So if you use Jaggery, for me, in my own personal opinion, is the same thing as using white granulated sugar though is not refined as they would refine white granulated sugar so it still has some nutrients and all but for me it's still the same thing because it's a byproduct of sugar cane sugar cane is sugar cane sugar is sugar so like you saw, saw i have i've i've pureed the the red apples 
So if you're using fruit as your sweetness, use fruit as your sweetness without the jaggery. For me personally, it's just my own personal opinion. It's not law. If the moment you include jaggery, which is also a byproduct of sugar cane, for me, I believe sugar is sugar and you have used sugar. Also, please take note of this. If you have any sugar spiking health issues, any sugar spiking health issues like diabetes, please date is sugar. Watermelon is sugar. Pineapple is sugar. Red apples is sugar. Because when, your bo- when you consume and your body absorbs, your body treats it exactly like it will treat glucose, sugar. So the moment it goes into your body, it becomes glucose. So if you take zobo that is filled with lots of dates, the moment you taste any zobo and it's sweet, whether it was date was used as the main sweetener or white sugar was used as the main sh- sweetener or the sachet sweetener, the flavors or the jaggery, please drop the cup and do not take. Please drop the cup and do not consume because immediately your body will immediately treat it as glucose and is going to spike your health. It is immediately going to spike your health concerns and we don't want that for you. So now I'm cutting the the watermelon and everything. I am going to be blending the watermelon, the seeds inclusive. The beauty of watermelon seed is that it's not bitter. It has zero taste. So even when I'm making my watermelon at home on a regular, I include the seeds because I know I'm still going to strain it. So I'm going to strain it. I don't care. I just use the seed. I use everything. And seeds often pack a lot of nutrients. Seeds often pack lots and lots of nutrients. But why I'm always very careful with seed in other fruits is that some seed could be quite bitter. It can alter the taste of the juice, you know. But for watermelon seed, I've bite into it, I've chewed it, and I've realized that it is not bitter. Some cultures actually toast watermelon seed and eat, you know, as crunch for snacks, for snacking. They snack on watermelon seed when they toast it or fry it and they, and they, and they snack on it, especially in the Asian culture. So hence why I'm not concerned about the the seeds. Everything is going into the blender. So if you want to go into commercial selling of Zobo, if you want to go into commercial selling of Zobo, you need to first, number one, think about your target audience. Who are my target audience? Who do I want to sell to? Young urban professionals who don't mind paying a thousand two hundred a thousand five hundred per bottle of 500 ml of zobo drink or the regular person on the streets who wants zobo drink a bottle of zobo drink at 300 or 400 naira. now i'm peeling my garlic and it's super easy to do that like i think you notice that you just place your knife over it you apply pressure and it and it splits open then for my gin for my ginger roots as well as you can see in the bowl I did not peel my ginger roots. I'm going to be blending it skin inclusive. Hence why I advise that you wash it thoroughly. You ensure that there are no sand, nothing. Everything is as good, as clean as clean can be. Please, we want everything you're using in this video. The way I have washed is the same way you should please wash. So like I was saying, understand who your target audience is. Who do you want to sell to? Who wants to buy from you? The person who wants a Zobo drink of, you know, the regular table water bottle for 300 naira, or someone who don't mind paying 1,200, 1,500 for 500 ml of Zobo. Because at the end of this tutorial, you're going to be realizing what I am saying. Because the price of the ingredients, I'm still going to list how much it is I bought and all. Now I'm removing the seed from my dates. I am removing the seeds from the dates. Please do not blend your dates with the seed because the seed is quite hard. You're going to be destroying the blade of your blender. You're going to be destroying the blade of your blender. So please ensure you extract the seed from your dates before you blend. And before you blend, after extraction, wash your dates thoroughly. 
it can be quite dirty especially on the inside so please do that before you begin to do before you begin to blend it then one thing again i would like to explain in this tutorial if you want to go into zobo uh, commercial zobo production and you want to pack it like pet drinks you know the way they pack soft drinks you must in add preservatives preservatives must be in your zobo drink if you want to uh, pack it like pet drinks can you see how clean the dates are very 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 clean immediately i removed I extracted the seed i washed it thoroughly before blending so preservative is important if you want to pack your zobo drink like they pack soft drinks it's just so obvious look at it it's glaring if for example you're making zobo with the pineapples with the dates with the watermelon and all you know that fruit on its own goes bad the moment you blend it in the food processor it goes bad so what i have right now is a pot is on fire i first by laying my pineapple peels inside the pot then afterwards i will add the zobo leaves which i also washed but i didn't wash it like you will wash your regular leaves because you don't want to lose the dye in the zobo leaf that we want to extract so now i've washed my zobo leaf just gently i've poured it into the pot then i'm going to be pouring my garlic the blended garlic and ginger combination you know i blended my garlic and ginger combination everything then for the watermelon the 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 watermelon the red apples the dates and the pineapple juice those are in the fridge cooling because you don't want to keep it out if you keep it out while you're cooking these and waiting for it to cool down it would go bad so please your watermelon juice your pineapple juice your blended dates the apple juice please keep that in your fridge or freezer until you're ready to use so i've added the ginger and the garlic combination now i'm adding the cloves so four ingredients on fire the pineapple skin the zobo leaf five ingredients rather ginger garlic and cloves now i'm adding lastly the water lastly the water and what you just want this to do is that you want it to come to a boil there are other methods of cooking your zobo drink so that's why you don't need it to really boil for a long period of time i have seen persons who make zobo all they simply do is that they pour the zobo leaves the ginger the garlic the cloves the pineapple bags back in the big bowl and they bring water to a boil like the water boils very hot boiling water they pour it over the leaves and all and they just cover it and allow the dye from the zobo leaf to extract but I will be boiling this for a little while so that you, I just ensure that I, at least I cooked it and I get the best out of my abiscus leaves. The name in English is abiscus leaves, but in Nigeria, we call it zobo leaf. Can you see that? That is how beautiful it looks the moment you allow it to cook. And please, not on high temperature, on low temperature. You, you're not rushing anywhere. You just want to cook this gradually. But because my pot is small, I'm going to be cooking this three times. And let me explain the three times I'm going to be cooking this. So please, when you look at the measurements, please take cognizance of what I'm about to say. The first two times I'm going to be cooking, I will pour that together in this bowl. Then the last time I will be cooking, I will pour in two separate bowls. Reason is... I don't want my zobo to be light and later you understand why I do not want my zobo to be light I want my zobo to be thick so the very first two cooking I know that yes this is good zobo this is thick zobo this is good almost like you know almost like concentrate like this is good juice is going to be in this bowl then the last time I'm going to be cooking that juice is going to be in separate bowls I'll be using that juice for something else during the course of producing and making this zobo so for your zobo drink it depends on your targeted audience 
it depends on your targeted audience if your audience are the type that they want something cheap they don't want anything expensive you can make your zobo drink light because i've seen zobo drinks that when you stir into the bottle you can almost see your soul <laughs> like you can almost literally see your soul so i'm watching i'm washing the, the the back of the strainer with water because i want the ingredients on the strainer and everything you know the cloves the ginger the garlic to go in back in, into back into the pot while i cook for the second time so that's why you see me washing the back of the of the strainer now can you see after cooking twice this is what the leaf looks like is translucent pink is no longer as red as it was in the beginning before we started cooking this and at this point you can just discard but for those who sell for commercial purposes they will never discard at this point hence why i said i'm going to be cooking the third time so cooking the third time will give me extra liquid into that will be pouring into two other bowls can you see that this bowl is already filled this is what i want like this is zobo zobo like you want thick zobo that is what it should look like but it's okay for you to cook a third time and you leave it to cool completely now my zobo juice can you see the remaining the two i got after cooking the, the third time those those two small stainless bowls now my zobo has cooled down completely after about three hours that's my watermelon this is the date these are the sweeteners the white sugar the two extracts i got after cooking for the third time by the time I, I was done cooking the third time trust me there was nothing on that leaf the leaf was translucent pink nothing if you squeeze that leaf nothing was going to come out of it this is the my main bowl of the zobo extraction like you can see the difference in color you can see the difference in intensity from the one in the small bowls and the one in the big bowl and yes this is the date see how rich that is okay the first bowl the small first bowl is the apple the red apple and this big bowl is the dates so this table is exactly what you want to see if you're making your zobo now i had to get a big container because this other bowl is so small and i know i'm going to be adding other stuff so i'm straining one last time but it might not be one last time if i feel after adding everything something went in there I will still try my best to strain so that when someone so that when you speak when anyone drinks it is as smooth as smooth as it should be on their tongue and look how thick that is this should be the base for your zobo be very very careful when you're adding water to zobo if you follow this recipe with the water and everything trust me everyone will always compliment your zobo whether you're using natural sweeteners or you're using refined sugar or you're using the sachet artificial sweetener if you follow this water trust me you're good because one thing i noticed about zobo is that when, when i was younger it will look as if it's red in the bowl because you know it has a red hue the dye is red so it will look as if it's red so you'll be tempted to add water ah it's still red add water oh it's still red add water oh it's still red add water then the moment you begin to bottle it you'll now realize that oh oh Oh, oh i think i overplayed my hand because now in the in the bottle it will look transparent it will be very 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 trans transparent it will be so translucent like anyone seeing it to know that this zobo has been over mixed and look at the top of the zobo this is my base see how rich and red that is so now it's time for me to begin to strain the dates the watermelon the pineapple and the red apples into my zobo drink and I'm using all of this because I want to use the fruits and the nuts, which is the dates, as the sweetener. So if you are selling to a group of persons who are not ready to pay, but they want good, they want sweet zobo, please omit dates, omit watermelon, omit pineapple juice, omit red apples. So for the pineapple back, you can just go to anyone that sells pineapple in your area especially around 3 4 p.m in or thereabouts when you get there they would have peeled pineapple for lots of customers so you just go there and tell them please can i have the back they will give the back to you you come back home or you come back to your kitchen you wash it thoroughly and there you have the pineapple back the skin 
it is you need to infuse the pineapple flavor into your zobo and that is it so you don't spend money buying watermelon you don't spend money buying dates you don't spend money buying cucumber you don't spend money buying red apples you don't spend money buying all of those things all you just buy is your zobo leaf the cloves the ginger the garlic which is also optional and that's and that's it basically and your sweetness but if you know you want to go the route of using the natural the natural nuts and fruits as your sweetener and as your flavoring then you need to strain it like i said if you have a, a juicer that strains for you fantastic so can you see what i'm doing now with that zobo i got the last time i cooked it so i knew i was going to be needing water to strain and sieve the the nuts and the fruits hence why i decided to cook the leaves one last time hence why i decided to do that and bef least i forget please do not leave your cooked zobo in the leaves your zobo will have a bitter taste do not leave your zobo the moment you cook your zobo while it's hot strain it don't leave your zobo to cool in the leaves that is why your zobo when people drink it it has this after bitter taste because you have left it in the leaves and if you use oranges please if you have any reason to use orange in your zobo know that your zobo will have bitter after taste especially if you drop it with the skin so if you drop the, the orange with the skin inside your zobo your zobo will have an a after bitter taste so what i'm just doing here basically is that i'm straining everything i'm straining the dates i'm straining the pineapple i'm straining the watermelon i'm straining the red this is the red apple right now that is what i'm just doing here basically i'm straining everything because we want our zobo to be as smooth as possible and like i said i'm using the last juice i got from the zobo leaf as my water that way i know that i'm not adding water from anywhere into my zobo drink and Funny enough, I used just one of the bowls of the zobo I extracted. I was very, 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 very careful. I still did not want to over dilute my zobo drink, knowing fully well that everything I'm adding into the zobo, the watermelon and everything is liquid, is water. The zobo will keep increasing in, you know, in quantity. It will keep increasing in quantity. So if you if you are if you panic and you think oh you need to add water you need to add water into the strainer so that you can extract the juice from the days from this from that trust me by the time you, you want to start packaging your zobo your zobo will be too light and your customers will not be happy about it because they'll tell you yeah, this zobo is too light why is your zobo like this why is your zobo not thick why is your everybody will begin to complain another factor again i want you to consider is if you are going to be chilling your zobo in in a freezer so if you have if you bottle the zobo and you put in a freezer remember that if it stays in the freezer for a long period of time it will form eyes and the eyes itself by the time it dissolves will make your zobo what will make your zobo watery again so all of these are factors you need to consider when adding water to your zobo so one thing i want you to know when it comes to straining your zobo is by the time you start pressing the the shaft from the fruits or the nut that you are sieving you will notice that at some point the, the shaft will begin to stick to the ladder and detach by itself. It just detaches from the strainer. So the moment you, you're sieving and it just does that, know that there is nothing left in the shaft. Know that it's just shaft in there and nothing. You can just go ahead and taste it. You'll just realize that there is nothing in there. If it's the shaft from the dates or from the pineapple or from the watermelon or from the red apple or from the cucumber, when you taste this, you just realize that there's absolutely nothing left there for you to use. I'm talking about strainers. You don't necessarily have to use the particular one I'm using in this video. You can use a cheesecloth. In Nigeria, that is the one we use to sieve pap. You know, pap. So you can use that. That will make the job faster and easier for you. Actually, when you get the big one over a big bowl, you just pour everything into it. And you begin to shake it shake it left right shake it left right shake it left right and before you know it you've completely strained everything can you see what i was saying the other time it's just obvious that there's nothing left in that trust me if you taste this there's nothing left in it because it's detaching itself 
from the sieve it simply means no fat no nothing no sugar nothing so now in goes the pineapple uh, flavor so can you see that the the zobo is gradually increasing in quantity because these things are water like all those fruits you're adding they are water so as you add the fruits and everything it will begin to it will just continue gradually continue to increase in quantity hence why i will tell you please do not be tempted to want to pour water into your zobo drink and just follow the recipe so you need preservatives if you want to pack it as pet drinks you need preservatives if you don't put preservatives in your zobo and you pack it as uh, pet drinks like they pack soft drinks and all you will run at a loss because if there is heat especially in less than six hours it will go bad zobo itself ferments zobo on its own without anything ferments especially when you bottle it if you still leave it in a bowl fine the taste might begin to change gradually but it will take a while maybe like eight hours or thereabouts or nine hours but the moment you put it in a bottle and you close it and there is no air no breathing space immediately your zobo begins to ferment so don't run at a loss don't waste money that is what you should do with your zobo add preservatives some will say they add a little bit of lemon some will say they add a little bit of lime but for me if you want to add preservatives just go right ahead go to the market buy the powdered preservatives and use i'm going to be making a video on preservatives check the channel and watch my video on if whether preservatives are good for us or not and this is what our zobo mixture looks like can you see like joke gradually the pot is filled our pot is filled from like half of the pot this is what we have now just from the juice and everything this is what we have from the top of the zobo you can tell that this is good zobo but looking at the spot how many 50 ml bottles or one liter bottles do you think i can can from this how many that is to tell you what i was saying the other day on instagram if you make zobo using just dates pineapple this that you cannot sell for 800 naira right now as that when i'm making this video you cannot sell a bottle for 800 naira you cannot sell a bottle for 1000 naira how will you make your profit if it is this thick this rich with everything in there it is not possible and let's come back to the last bowl of uh zobo the one i extracted when while i was cooking the last one you know i got two of the small bowls so this is one i used one while i was training and this is the the second one so i want to make an experiment so i want to pour the pineapple flavor of this artificial sweetener in there for the artificial sweetener though i know a sachet is to 1.5 liters on some of the sachet you see there is written one sachet to 1.5 liters of liquid then i decided to add that oh my oh my oh my if you're used to the normal zobo like this zobo like this is the type of zobo you're used to you know this thickness and this taste there's just something about this taste in the artificial sweetener. sorry this, that is what we we all drank let's tell ourselves the truth if you've been drinking zobo for a long time this is what we drank but when i tasted this oh no i dropped the spoon it was too sweet it was just too sweet hence why those who can sell zobo a bottle of you know the bottle drink 300 naira, 200 naira, because all they just buy is the zobo leaf the garlic the ginger these sachet sweeteners and all and I bought the sachet sweeteners for just 15 naira, the jolly juice. Then the other two I bought at 100, 100 naira. So the yellow one I used, I bought for 15 naira. And it was even just too sweet. So that is the one with the sweetener. I just bottled in that bottle. And trust me, it is too sweet. So if anyone wants to drink this, I think for this quantity of this bowl, you can't even use more than a quarter of the sachet because a full sachet in it was bad i washed the spoon and i'm about to taste the one with the natural fruits wow the taste of this is different 
very very different especially if you're using if you're used to the regular zubo the one with white sugar or the one with the sweetness this is different it's not sweet sweet is mildly sweet i want to believe it can also still be sweet sweet the more dates you add the you no know, but the more expensive it becomes finally i hope now you understand how to make your zobo drink and you understand the difference in your target audience and the pricing so if you want something cheap and affordable zobo leaf ginger garlic which is optional cloves pineapple peels and the sachet sweetener is your go-to ingredient you have no business with the fresh fruits but if you have luxury clients who will pay you and all please calculate your costs properly like i indicated like calculate everything your profits your bottles and all your business tax your gas everything you know your logistics before you put a price to it if you know you're going the route of using fresh fruits and the best place to preserve your zobo drink is in your chest freezer so if you don't have preservatives in it that's totally fine please keep in your chest freezer at all times so that it freezes up and once it freezes up nothing will happen to your zobo drink but if you want to pack it as pet bottles and sell without chilling you need to add that powder preservatives all right guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this i hope you learned i hope you're going to put everything it is you've watched in this video to use i also hope you subscribe and i would love love to read your comments about the video please i'll be in the comments and i'll be attending to all the comments and replying please i would love to see your comments and for don't forget to share the link of this video with others so that they can also come and learn and see how it is zobo drink is made and you can see that color the color is not red red due to the color of the dates which is quite dark brown and the color of the red red zobo so it gives it this very dark pink you not red red like you are used to so that when you make your zobo at home and it has this color don't be afraid i simply believe it's because of the dates happy viewing thank you guys and see you later